Wars frequently defined world history. Fighter jets were more significant in influencing the result of wars and acting as deterrents to aggressions during 20th century. Military aircraft matured throughout World War II and their value for both military and non-military reasons grew during the Cold War and beyond. As a result, we compiled a list of the top 10 most dangerous fighter jets of the 20th century. Stay tuned for more information on how deadly these jets really can be. Number 10. Hawker Hurricane in Great Britain Hawker Aircraft Limited produced the Hurricane, a British single-seat fighter aircraft in the 1930s and 40s. During the vital early phases of World War II, the Hurricane was the most significant British fighter, sharing victories with the Supermarine Spitfighter in the Battle of Britain 1940 and 1941 and the Defense of Malta 1941 and 1942. Hurricane saw action in every theater of conflict where British forces were present. Sidney Cam, Hawker's main designer, worked on developing a high-performance monoplane fighter. The Hurricane was an evolutionary refinement of earlier Cam designs, most notably the Fury biplane fighter, and was built on a 1,200-horsepower, 12-cylinder inline Rolls-Royce engine. Apart from its sleek aesthetics and strong weaponry, the Hurricane was a standard low-wing monoplane with retractable landing gear. Fabric covered its wings, rear fuselage, and tail surfaces. However, the fabric wing covering was quickly replaced with aluminum. Number 9. U-2 Spy Plane, the United States The United States uses the U-2, a single-seat high-altitude jet aircraft, for intelligence collections, surveillance, and reconnaissance. The U-2, also known as the Dragon Lady, is perhaps the most renowned espionage plane ever created and has been in service since 1956. The first plane in the series flew in 1955 and the last plane in the series was manufactured in 1989. During the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962, the U-2 took images confirming the presence of Soviet nuclear-armed missiles in Cuba. The U-2 has continued to be employed for strategic intelligence collection flights, but it has also been utilized for combat reconnaissance and surveillance in various wars and tension zones where the United States has been involved since the Vietnam War in the 1960s. Despite the fact that many of its tasks has been taken over by high-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned aerial vehicles, many U-2s remain in operation. Since 1980, NASA has used modified U-2s known as ER-2s to collect data on the atmosphere, Earth, and celestial events. Number 8. B-52 Stratofortress, United States The B-52 Stratofortress is a long-range heavy bomber created by the Boeing Company in 1948, first flown in 1952 and delivered to the military in 1955. Though designed to be an atomic bomb carrier capable of reaching the Soviet Union, the B-52 has proven adaptable to a variety of tasks and some B-52s are projected to continue in service long into the 21st century. The wingspan of the B-52 is 185 feet or 56 meters and the length is 160 feet 10.9 inches or 49 meters. It is propelled by eight jet engines positioned in four twin pods under the wing. The plane's top speed is 595 miles an hour or 960 kilometers an hour at 55,000 feet or 17,000 meters above the earth. It has a crew of six at a time and its only defensive weaponry was a remotely operated gun turret in the tail. The gun was removed in 1991 and the crew was reduced to five people. The B-52 massive airframe gave its moniker the Big Ugly Fat Fellow, or Buff for short, but it also enabled the jet to be equipped with very advanced navigational weapon controls and electric countermeasure systems. Number 7. F-16 Fighting Falcon, the United States the F-16, also known as the Fighting Falcon, is a single-seat, single-engine jet fighter designed by General Dynamics Corporations for the United States and over a dozen other countries. The F-16 was developed in response to a request in 1972 for a lightweight, cost-effective air-to-air fighter. Current models are also all-weather capable and capable of ground attack. The United States Air Force received the first delivery in 1978. The F-16 had a wingspan of 31 feet, 
or 9.4 meters and the length of 49 feet or 15 meters. It is powered by a single Pratt & Whitney or General Electric turbofan engine, which can generate 23,000 to 29,000 pounds of thrust with afterburning, allowing the aircraft to travel at more than twice the speed of sound. Weaponry comprises a 0.8-inch rotary gun as well as attachments for a variety of bombs and missiles beneath the wing and fuselage. The F-16 weighs roughly 23,000 pounds with a standard combat load. It was sold to U.S. allies in the Middle East, where it proved very effective to air-to-air -air combat and ground attacks during the 1982 Israeli-Syrian conflict and the 1990-1991 Persian Gulf War. In terms of worldwide sales, the F-16 is the most popular fighter with more than 20 countries presently using it. Number 6. MiG-21 Fighter, Soviet Union In 1955, the Russian Aerospace Design Bureau introduced the MiG-21, a lightweight single-engine interceptor capable of flying at twice the speed of sound. The basic version, which entered service in 1958, was a low-cost day fighter that was highly maneuverable, simple to maintain, and capable of operating from unproven airfields. The designer bureau built around 9,000 MiG-21s in as many as 32 variants for the air forces of the Soviet Union and more than 40 other nations, as well as licensing a version to manufacturing in China. It became North Vietnam's primary high-altitude interceptor, and modified variants served as the backbone of the Arab Air Forces in the 1970s. Number 5. Tupolev Tu-95 Bomber, Soviet Union Tupolev launched the Tu-16 Badger, a medium-range bomber with swept wings and light alloy construction, in 1952 after adapting jet power to numerous piston engines airframes. The Tu-95 Bear, a massive turboprop bomber designed by Alexander Arkenselks, a longtime associate of company co-founder Andrei Tupolev, first flew in 1954 and went on to become one of the most durable military aircrafts ever built and one of the longest-lived aircrafts in the Soviet strategic arsenal. Russia still has about 50 Tu-95 aircrafts in service as a cruise missile carriers. Number 4. BF-109 Fighter, Germany The BF-109, also known as the ME-109, was Nazi Germany's most important fighter aircraft, both operationally and in terms of production numbers. It was known consequently as the ME-109 after its inventor, Willy Messerschmitt. The Jumo-powered BF-109B entered service in 1937 armed with 4.3-inch machine guns and was promptly tested in combat during the Spanish Civil War. It fought successfully against Soviet I-16 monoplanes and I-15 biplane fighters there, thanks in part to the Luftwaffe's innovative use of interplane radio to direct formation in air-to-air -air combat. Number 3. P-51 Mustang, United States the P-51 Mustang is a single-seat, single-engine fighter aircraft designed and manufactured by North American Aviation for the British Royal Air Force and later adopted by the United States Army Air Forces. The P-51 is usually recognized as the best all-around piston-engine fighter manufactured in considerable numbers during World War II. The Royal Air Force used approximately 1,500 Merlin-powered Mustangs for daylight duties over Europe, and the plane was produced under license in Australia near the end of the war. Some were sent to nationalist China. The P-51D was the most extensively manufactured type. It had a plexiglass bubble canopy for all-around visibility, flew at 440 miles per hour, and had an operating ceiling of over 42,000 feet above the ground, and was armed with six wings mounted .5-inch machine guns. Number 2. Dassault Brigade Mirage, France Mirage is the name given to any member of the Dassault Brigade Aeronautics Firm's family of combat aircrafts. From the 1960s, many of the world's minor air forces acquired this very affordable, basic, and robust aircraft. The single-engine Delta Wing Mirage III was the first Mirage aircraft. This ship initially flew in 1956, although it has since undergone substantial development. It was converted into a basic interceptor, a fighter bomber, and reconnaissance aircraft. During the 1960s, the Mirage 3 was the Israeli Air Force's primary air superior fighter, and it performed well during the 1967 Six-Day War. 
Brazil, Lebanon, South Africa, Argentina, Pakistan, Spain, Australia, and Switzerland were among the other nations that used the Mirage 3. Number 1. Mitsubishi Zero – Empire of Japan the Zero, also known as Mitsubishi A6M or Navy Type Zero, is a single-seat, low-wing monoplane employed extensively by the Japanese during World War II. Horikoshi Yero created it, and it was the first carrier-based fighter capable of outperforming land-based opponents. It was developed to specifications established in 1937, tested for the first time in 1939, and went on to production and service in China in 1940. Although the aircraft was codenamed Zeke by Allied troopers, it was often referred to as the Zero, a moniker taken from one of its Japanese names, Ryzen Kajikasen, Type Zero Carrier Based Fighter Airplane, abbreviated Ryzen. The year it was initially produced, 1940, marked the 2600th anniversary of Japan's fabled first Emperor Jinmu ascending to the throne, hence the Zero designation. What are your thoughts on today's video? Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. That'll be all for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't and hit that notification bell so you get an update whenever we upload any new videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.